and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video, I want to show you how you can activate tearing in cloth simulations and also how you can guide the tearing. So first of all, let's have a look at the topology here. I'm going to go back to frame zero and I'm going to select this whole piece of fabric, go to points mode. And in order to see it better, I'm also going to go to options in the viewport and deactivate materials. So you can see that this is a nice quad mesh. Now let me reactivate materials, go back to model mode and let's play back the animation. Select the cloth tag and then let's activate the tearing. You can do that down here in the tearing section. Just unfold this and tick tearing. Now you see that still nothing is happening and this is because the tear pass parameter is set to 150% which means that in order to be torn, an edge has to be 150% of its initial length or more. And this is not the case here. So let me bring the tear pass parameter down to let's say 120. And there we go. Now we can see that there is some tearing happening. Um, those areas up here at the clamps are the ones that are stretched the most. So this is where the tearing happens. We can guide the tearing a little bit by using this tear guiding parameter which is angle based and it will try to create like long stripes of edges that have a maximum angle of 45 degrees so if we bring this down to let's say 10 degrees you will see that we get more like a stripe up here which is good but not what we want the other thing we can do is we can unfold the tear pass parameter and here we have a map input. Now let me pause the animation and let's go back to frame zero. And now we want to create a map that can be used for tearing. And the map type that is supported here is vertex map. How can we create a vertex map? Well, it is actually really simple. We simply have to use the paint tool, which can be found here. And now we just start painting let's say from here to there, let's add another stroke here and another one here maybe. And all areas that are yellow or orangish here will be used to tear. Everything that is red means no tearing allowed here. All right, and now we need to assign this vertex map to the cloth tag. And this can simply be done by dragging and dropping the vertex map into this map field. And now let's hit play and see what happens. Yeah, you can already see that there is some tearing happening up here, which is looking quite cool, but I also want this area to be torn. So let me bring down the min tear pass parameter to let's say 105%. And there we go. Now the cloth is tearing in those areas that we just defined using the vertex map. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.